What a fantastic year it has been for clean energy, not only globally, but here in Cambodia. Cambodia has turned to renewable energy to meet its rapidly increasing electricity demand, and so the momentum towards a clean energy future is accelerating. Clean energy is here and now. No longer is it green, nice to have, but expensive. It's actually cheaper than fossil fuels, it can be built quickly, and it can be built close to where the energy is used. Since Energy Lab began in 2018, there has been incredible progress in clean energy in Cambodia. We've seen 40 times the amount of solar approved by the government and the price dropping to less than half from 9.1 cents per kilowatt hour in 2017 down to 3.877 cents per kilowatt hour in 2019. These projects are all around Cambodia. The government has also announced new solar regulations for rooftop projects. And since then, we've seen the largest 10 megawatt rooftop solar project installed in Cambodia. Australian companies founded in Cambodia have also seen huge success this year. Okra Solar and Atec Biogas are now expanding their sales to other Asian countries and have succeeded in raising investment to help them grow. Over the last year, what we managed to achieve was about a thousand people getting access to electricity from the first time, from 24-7 power from renewable smart grids. A wind power project has been approved that will complement Cambodia's generation mix. Over half of Cambodia's energy is used for cooking, and that's why we love Cambodia's clean cooking solutions, such as ATEC biodigesters, which turn manure into clean cooking gas and also a fertilizer for using on the crops, and Khmer green charcoal that uses waste coconut shells to produce a biomass charcoal that is green and sustainable. Energy Lab is an organisation established to support the growth of the clean energy market in Cambodia, with a particular focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. We believe that the transition to a clean energy future is enhanced by the smarts, passion and drive that entrepreneurs and youth bring. Over the last two years, we have successfully supported 16 students to have an internship at nine clean energy companies in Cambodia. Over 150 Cambodians have been inspired to create innovative clean energy solutions through our hackathons. We have brought together over 2,000 people to meet, share, learn and do business together. Through our Women in Clean Energy Fellowship, we are supporting more diversity in future Cambodian leaders. Cambodia is well on its way towards a clean energy future. And of course, we recognise that the sun isn't always shining and the wind isn't always blowing. So it needs to be integrated as part of an overall energy mix and that requires planning. Cambodia's existing hydro can be useful because the water in the reservoir can act like a battery. The future is about managing and reducing demand and using multiple sources, filling in when cheap variable wind and solar aren't available. We commend the Royal Government of Cambodia for recognising the value that clean energy can bring to Cambodia's electricity future. I believe there is genuine will from everyone to get electricity to every single Cambodian in the next few years and that's the most important thing to me. It is our honour at Energy Lab to be part of the clean energy transition and we look forward to future sustainable prosperity.